Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. Control boards are the brains of the refrigerator and will display an error code if something goes wrong. Error codes can be divided into several categories. Temperature or sensor codes, codes for the door, and codes for the control board itself. In this episode, we'll learn about the most common error codes in Whirlpool, Frigidaire, and General Electric models. Let's get started. If you get an error code, it's best to try a reset. Unplug the refrigerator and wait several minutes. Then plug it back in. If the error code persists, then it's worth doing further troubleshooting. To narrow down the problem, watch the troubleshooting videos linked in the description below. As well, it can be helpful to reference your user manual as this might provide more detail for your model. A temperature or sensor error means that the sensor might have failed. As well, it can mean that the temperature is too high in the fridge or freezer compartments. In Whirlpool models, this will likely be an 18F or a C code. Frigid air models might show OP or SH. General electric models will display a CC or FF code. The temperature sensor is also known as a thermistor and can be tested with a multimeter. Additionally, a faulty condenser or evaporator fan can prevent the system from cooling properly. You can learn more in the troubleshooting video linked below. A door error code means there's a problem with one of the door switches. It can also mean that the door is not closing properly. In some models, you might see a DR or DF code, or you might hear an audible alarm. It's best to check the door to see if the gasket is sealing properly. Also, check near the door hinge to see if the wire harness is pinched or damaged. The door switch can also be tested for continuity. You can see more in the video linked below. Control error codes can show up when there's a problem with the control board or keypad. This can be caused by a faulty board or an issue with one of the connections. In Whirlpool models, this will likely be a CF or a 6 code. Frigid air models might show SY or CF. General electric models might display a PF code. Control boards can't be easily tested, but you can still check if the wire connections are secure. In many cases, it's best to install a new control board. You can see more in the video linked below. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.